Hello, my name is Rachel, and I love clothes. And I'm once again doing another one in my series of Goth But Make It Color, and today's color is going to be blue. Now, I really thought I had more blue in my wardrobe than I do. Apparently, I don't have very much blue. So I'm, I'm mixing this with blue and teal, because, you know, I think teal is close enough. <laughs> so this is going to be my blue te slash teal lookbook. Uh, and, and as usual, I'm starting out with an outfit that doesn't have a lot of our you know, color theme of the day. I do have this blue um, jacquard shrug. I believe it's jacquard when it's two different colors and it's brocade when it's a single color when it's this type of pattern. I th I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I think I've had this rant before. But anyway, <laughs> um, and, and if you've seen my Dracula clothing video uh, a couple months back, you'd know that this shrug actually does have a matching dress in the same blue fabric. The reason why I'm not wearing that dress with it and doing more blue like I should be is because it's one of those dresses that I can squeeze into it, but every time I go to get it off, I feel like I'm gonna have to cut it off. So I just didn't wanna deal with that struggle right now. Uh, one day I'm gonna get that dress on and it's not gonna come off and it's, I'm gonna have to destroy it. So I'm just like, maybe if I lost, 15 pounds. <laughs> I wouldn't have that problem. <laughs> but the way it is now, it's, it's just a struggle. <laughs> so I did pair it with this little black pentagram dress. Not that you can really see the pentagram with the, the jacket kind of covering it up a little bit. This, the dress itself is from Amazon and it really wasn't that uh, that expensive. Um, if it's if I can find it, if it's still available, of course there will always be associate links down in the description box below for whatever I'm wearing in the video. And a lot of times there's associate links in the description box below for things I've worn in previous videos. <laughs> but the and the shrug, like I just said, is from Dracula Clothing. Little awkward stool shuffle for you, so you can see the cute detail on the back of the jacket and. I am wearing my velvet granny boots with this and I did put my hair up because this does have this super high collar but I left a few tendrils hanging down I just I think I think it's like a anxiety thing I'm just always more comfortable when I have hair in my face <laughs> you know you kind of feel like you're hiding behind the veil of your hair <laughs> and show show you my makeup now <laughs> this video is going up uh, should be the day after I get back from my trip. So <laughs> when you're seeing this video, I should be home. However, <laughs> I'm filming this before I leave for my trip. So I've already packed all my favorite makeup. <laughs> so I had to do this makeup look with uh, my, um, you know, backup makeup. Well, the makeup isn't so important because I have a ton of makeup, right? So like the eye, I have tons of eyeshadow palettes. Obviously, I'm not taking them all, but I packed all my favorite makeup brushes. <laughs> So I had to do this with my backup makeup brushes, but I think it came out pretty good anyway. Maybe not my best effort, but not bad. Uh, the lipstick is actually a eyeshadow over a very pale blue lipstick. I really like the way that came out. The tights are just one of those multi-pattern fishnet tights you guys know I love that I get on Amazon. Uh, I don't know if I can find these exact tights, but there'll be some sort of multi-pattern fishnet tight linked down in the description box below as usual. And I guess that's it for outfit number one. And I guess uh, we'll just move on to another outfit. And here is outfit number two. This is a really cute little two-piece by lip service. It's this black top with blue sheer mesh the sleeves and neckline, and it has little black studs along the uh, neckline here. And then the matching skirt is several layers of blue tulle and a little, I guess, like shark bite hem, and it's like blue over black. And I paired that with this belt from Amazon. And again, this, I'm gonna be wearing these same tights throughout this whole lookbook. And then for boots or shoes, I chose these boots from my Burlington Coat Factory haul. And then I'm wearing this studded headband from Shein and these adorable little sugar skull earrings that were a gift from my sister-in-law. And for rings, 
I am wearing, this is an actual engagement ring. I've never been engaged, but the, my mother gave me her diamond from her solitaire and I used to work in a jewelry store. So I had it set in this sapphire band because sapphire is my mother's birthstone. Uh, but this is one of my pieces, few pieces of genuine jewelry. <laughs> I did work in a jewelry store for several years, so I do actually own some not costume jewelry. <laughs> and then this is just costume jewelry. This is actually from a one of those bath bombs. I, I think I mentioned in my bath bomb haul the, with the rings in it that I used to get the fragrant jewels ones all the time. And this was from one of the fragrant jewels bath bombs way years ago. So I believe that is everything for this outfit. And let's move on. Next up, I have this adorable, although incredibly short <laughs> dress. Uh, it has baby blue skulls and dark blue skulls. And I cannot remember who this dress is by. I forgot to check before I put it on. I think it's, I want to say Sourpuss um, with the next outfit. I'll, I'll correct myself if I was wrong. <laughs> but it is just so cute. It's got these two little bows, lace trim. And I am still wearing those same chain boots. I thought that they would be cute for this. I think this has a, a maybe a little more, I don't know, punk aesthetic to it. And then I did pair it with this really old trip New York City faux black fur purse with some silver hardware. Although honestly, if I were to wear this out, I would probably add a longer strap to this and do a crossbody bag because I just have an easier time keeping track of crossbody bags because they stay on me. <laughs> but for now, just a little shoulder bag is cute, I think. And then for a necklace, I do have this, it's like skeletons and skulls and a skeleton hand and chain mail necklace that I did make. This one is not in my Etsy. Uh, no real reasons other than I just never listed it. <laughs> All the rest of the jewelry is the same and of course the headband is the same. So I guess that is everything for this outfit and we can move on to another one. So I was wrong about that last dress. It's actually by Jawbreaker. That little skull and rose dress is by Jawbreaker. This dress is just a random Amazon brand. Uh, it's you know one of those dresses that the, the skirt part is that swimsuit feel material. The black is actually more of a almost cottony feeling material, but it's very thin and slinky. But it is a dress, but it does look like, add the belt, it looks like a top and a skirt. I uh, paired that with my Creepsville 666 bat belt. And the skirt is adorable. It's in a kind of a, a gray blue and it has darker blue cats and moons and stars and bats all over it. And I did pair that with this purse, which has this cute little bat on it, and it's... I can never tell if this is a, like, a gray and, like, off-white stripe, or if it's, like, a denim blue and off-white stripe. <laughs> Not real sure of the colors, but I feel like the, the, the skirt kind of brings out the, the gray-blueness of it. And it has a bat on it, so it matches. And then I am wearing one of the demon cat necklaces, resin necklaces that I did make. And this one is in my Etsy. And I'm just wearing my favorite comfortable skull buckle Mary Janes with this. A little more, I think this is a little more casual. <laughs> Next is this teal blue dress that I absolutely love. You might actually recognize this print from my green lookbook because I have a green dress in this exact same print. The raised velvet little kitties with umbrellas which is just so adorable but it has a different neckline. Also it doesn't have pockets. This one has pockets. <laughs> but it's just this is just the cutest dress. Again this was just a random find off of Amazon uh, years ago. I don't think, actually I did find one very similar to it, but it was actually by a brand, so it was pretty expensive. But I'll, I'll still link that down in the uh, description box below if I can find it again. 
but this is this dress. I am back to my little velvet granny boots because, you know, the, this dress has the velvet flocking in it. I thought I would pair it with the velvet boots. My necklace is this little skull cameo choker that I did make. This one I believe is in my Etsy, but I'm not 100% certain. <laughs> and I'm still wearing the same earrings and all the other same accessories as before. Now I only have one more dress left and I feel like that this this particular lookbook hasn't been as exciting as some of my ones in the past because I just, I really thought I had more blue, guys. <laughs> I guess I need to uh, work on more blue. I did still have that blue shirt that I had shown you recently in uh, a Amazon haul. It was a Scarlet Darkness shirt with really cute sleeves. That's really the only other piece of blue I have that I'm not showing you, but <laughs> I just showed that to you recently and um, I felt like I still had enough outfits put together here. Although, like I said, I apologize for it not being as exciting, but still super cute. <laughs> so let's just put, uh, put on that last dress. <laughs> and here is my final dress. It is this dark teal velvet dress. And this one is by Sourpuss. I actually remembered to check before I put it on. I actually have almost identical velvet dresses in three colors, red, purple, and black that were just randomly off of Amazon by like a random brand. The only difference was it didn't have the little bows on the sleeves and it didn't have the sequins on the sheer trim at the bottom of the hem and along the sleeves. But the cut and the style, it even had the little bow right here of those dresses, is pretty much the same. So I, I'm not sure if those were like rip-offs of this dress or if this was you know, just a, I, I don't know if Sourpuss buys already, you know, created dresses and <laughs> puts their brand on it. What's that called? Like labeling, white labeling or something like that. I forgot what that's called. When you buy something already made, but put your label on it. <laughs> so I really have no idea if there's any connection between those other dresses I have in this dress, but I always thought it was funny that they were just so similar. But uh, this one is absolutely beautiful. And I am again wearing my little velvet granny boots because velvet. I'm pairing it with the little vintage velvet purse that I have here with the rhinestones on top. And for necklace, I do have this teal blue and purple butterfly resin necklace that I did make. And this actually is in my Etsy. And then I have this Killstar belt, which I don't know if you can see. I'll try to zoom in on it. It has a little skull on it. Just thought it added a little extra something to the outfit. So that is everything that I have for you today. This That is my blue and teal gothic lookbook. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry, like I said, it wasn't as exciting as some of my past lookbooks. I just didn't have as much to work with in this one. Plus, I'd already packed some of my favorite accessory pieces. <laughs> like I said, I've already packed for the cruise and I wasn't going to pull things out of my suitcase just to film this. But I wanted to film this video because I knew there was no way I was going to get a video filmed and edited up in time the day after I get back from the cruise. So I was trying to stick to my schedule. I still might miss a few days that week that I get back. It just depends on if I do any good at getting footage of the cruise itself. <laughs> and I could always throw together some actual cruise videos for the rest of that week until I get, get myself back on track. Or I might have to miss a few days. It's not a big deal. I don't know why I care if I miss a few days, but I'm kind of, I, I get, kind of get obsessed with things, you know, and I'm like, oh my god, I've got to meet these deadlines, but they're self-imposed deadlines. They're not important. It's not like I have no choice. <laughs> anyway, enough of that ramble. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, and, and I completely forgot to ask. Get, uh, tell me down in the comments what you thought of these outfits and uh, what you liked and what you didn't like, and uh, if you didn't like the video at all, of course you can give it a thumbs down, and feel free to give me some constructive criticism down in the comments below. Um, or non-constructive criticism because that, that could be fun too. I don't know. <laughs> and please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.